Hello everybody, it is me, Jenna Cake Pie here. So oh, yeah, um, as you can see by the title of this video, this is a customizing an LPS snail. I am doing lots of customizing today, as you can see, uh, paint on my hands. Anywho, so I was thinking about some ideas that I could do for an LPS custom. I had an amazing idea. I have two of these LPS snails. Um, this one's in a little bit worse condition than this one. Yeah, um, ew. So, I'll be customizing this little snail today. And don't worry, it will still be super cute. What I have decided is I'm actually gonna um, turn the snail into a snail off of a TV show. But I'm not going to tell you what it is until the end so you can see if you can tell. So here I am at my customizing station. First thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna start by mixing some blue and white paint. So it's just going to be a little bit of blue and a lot more white. I'm going to start and I'm going to mix the paint until I get the ex desired color. So I am just going to start painting the LPS snail. It's blue, painting it blue, very, very blue. Um, I'm gonna like carefully go around its eyes, but you know what, honestly, <laughs> I think I'm just gonna repaint the eyes a different color. So let's just do all over the place, lots of blue. I want it to be thin because I do want the paint of the LPS to be very smooth and not clumpy or anything so I'm gonna like try to spread out as much as possible and not get any more on the brush and if anything less is better because I can do more coats I'm just gonna get back to you when I have the amount of coats that I think look good on the pet guys so I did a few coats of blue on this little snail so the next thing I'm going to do is paint his shell and that I'm going to do pink so I'm going to mix some paint and paint the shell. I will do some details and other stuff, of course. So I am mixing together white, pink, and tan. And I'm just going to mix, um, put more of whatever until I get the shade that I want. But I don't know if, I think this might be okay, but I'm just going to see. Okay, so paint everywhere, but I painted the shell pink and I added some green for details and painted the eyes white. But I still need to paint the eyes and add more detail to the shell, so let's just go ahead and do that. So this is the snail so far. I actually decided to paint some green before I do more of the shell. And so what I'm doing is I'm just doing the chest and the bottom part of the snail. Uh, I'm not really sure what that's called. And then I'm bringing some of the green up to the side just so you can see what color the green is from the side of the snail without having to tip it to the bottom. So I'm slightly bringing it to the edge. That way you can see it just from when the snail is standing upright. And I'm gonna do that same thing all the way around. So here it is on the other side did the, the little antennas green as well so i'm gonna let this dry because i think it might need another coat but we're going to see hello so a little update and i did some extra layers on the shell the blue and the green and i think it looks great so we're going to move on and do some details on the shell so basically got some red and purple right here and the details on the shell that I am wanting are quite small and I don't have a brush that small so I'm gonna try to paint with a tack and if that doesn't work I have like a thick um, string <laughs> so I'm gonna try that too um, so first I'm gonna start with some red and the natural swirl in the shell I want to just be outlined and red and this might actually work so 
that is, I just wanna get some off. That might actually work and that's great. So I'm just gonna start, I'm gonna dip it again like this. So I went ahead and I did the red swirl on both sides of the shell. Um, I like the way that this side turned out a lot better in this than this side. And honestly, um, I think that I'm going to redo it. Okay, so I fixed the swirl on the other side. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take that little tack again. I'm going to dip it in the purple paint and I'm going to start doing just... A few little purple polka dots on the shell. So I'm gonna do one and two and three. And I think I'll do four because I did just do four on the other side as well. All right, now the next step that I'm going to do for this Rose Pet Shop is paint its eyes. So the um, Lilith's Pet Shop's eyes are kind of a um, orangey red color, so I'm going to do that. So as you can see, I got some orange and red right here, so I'm just going to mix that together, and that is looking exactly how I want it. So I'm going to grab the Lilith's Pet Shop, and I'm going to wipe it off a little bit because there is a lot of paint on there. And I am going to start by doing curving around the top edge of the eye and curving it down just like that and then I'm gonna get to the other side a little bit more and like round it out and then I'm gonna do that to the other side all right so now that this orange is dry I'm going to take some black and I'm going to do the pupil part. And I want this to look very round compared to the orange, just by the look that I want the LPS to have. <laughs> just like that. And then I'm gonna touch it up a little bit. And then I'm going to continue with the eyes. Alrighty, and the last step I'm going to do is I'm gonna actually dip the back of my paintbrush in some white paint. And I'm going to do a little dot right here and a little dot right here, just like that. Guys, so you can see here I have finished the custom, and if you haven't been able to tell, it is Gary the Snail from SpongeBob. Yeah, super cute. Um, if you don't know who Gary is, um, you've been uh, living under a rock. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but yeah. So yeah, not sponsored, uh-huh. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the custom video. Next video is actually gonna be showing all my LPS customs, so keep an eye out for that in the next couple days. See you, bye!